So I've been having this bug for like a year where any type of audio or media would just randomly pause. And it doesn't matter if my phone is locked, if my screen is on or off, any type of music would just pause. Now, there's two versions of this bug. The first version is where your music pauses when your phone is locked. And then there's the second version where anything that plays sound, like from YouTube, you could be watching YouTube and the video will literally pause for no reason. So the first version is not really a bug. You just have to check your um, optimized apps and your sleeping apps. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you wanna go into your settings. So once you get to your settings, the first thing you wanna do is look up sleeping apps. So tap the little magnifying glass and then look up sleeping apps. And you wanna click on that. And then once you get to sleeping apps, you'll see if the music app that you're using to listen to music is on here. And if it's on here, you wanna take it off. So press a little trash can and then go next to whatever app you're using, like Spotify, for example, and press remove. And once you've done that, now you go on to the next step, which is checking your optimized apps. So you wanna look up optimized battery usage also. Optimize. Just look up optimizing, it should be the first option. And then you wanna click on that and it'll show you the little special access page. Optimize battery usage. First, you wanna make sure it's, all, it's set to all. And then you wanna look for the app again, whatever you're using, in my case, Spotify. And as you can see, Spotify is being optimized. So you wanna turn that off. So that should settle it for the first version. Now, for the second version, we're gonna have to do a little bit more work. And by a little bit more work, I mean, we're gonna have to clear the cache on the app and then reinstall it. So make sure you remember your account information of the app that keeps pausing because you'll probably have to re-sign into it. So let's get started. Go back to your settings and then you wanna go on apps. And then you wanna find the app that pauses for you. I'm gonna just look mine up. And then you wanna go on storage on the app and then you wanna clear the cache. Once you clear the cache, you wanna uninstall it. Go back and then press uninstall. And then you can just go in the Play Store, find the app, and then reinstall it. And if you have multiple apps that keep pausing for you, you'll have to rinse and repeat that whole process of clearing cache and reinstalling until you don't have any more apps that keep pausing for you. All right, so if you've done both versions and your music is still pausing or your videos are still pausing while the screen is on, we're gonna have to go into the Android system recovery and clear cache from there. Now, once we clear cache, you'll probably have to uninstall the apps and clear the cache again. But if you're using the phone that you're having the problem on, you'll probably wanna write this down somewhere unless you know how to navigate the Android system recovery menu. And how you get to the Android system recovery menu is, first thing, turn off your phone. Once your phone is off, you wanna press the volume up key, the Bixby key, and the power key all together. And then you wanna keep holding it until you see the Android logo, and then you can let go. Once you see the little Android logo, after a little while, you'll get a little installing system update message for like a few seconds before the recovery menu appears. And then when the recovery menu appears, you navigate using the volume buttons. So press the volume down key until wipe cache partition is highlighted. You see it and then you want to press your power button to select it and then you want to press the volume down key again to highlight yes and then press the power key again to select it the reboot system now is highlighted and then you want to press the power key to restart the device and then after you clear your cache from the android recovery system you want to redo the steps where you clear the cache from your app and then uninstall it and reinstall it and after I did that, my problem went away and I've been having this problem for like a year now and it doesn't do it anymore, thankfully. So yeah, that's it.